stuff right here. Always when I call to set up delivery of my vehicles for dates and times, I'll call. It's Jacinda with calling to set up delivery of your vehicle and um, I'd like to let you know when I'm gonna be there and hopefully it works for you. And I always hear nine out of 10 times. Well, will you let the driver know? And you guys know me being funny. Yeah, I'll let him know. And then when I show up, you should see their faces. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Life of a lady car hauler out here. Yes, I will let him know. And surprise! So, uh, the craziest thing that I have seen when I'm driving out on the road, it was when I was up in northern Sweden and I saw something strange that was lying in the ditch along the road. And when I got closer, I saw that it was a frozen moose that had probably got hit by a car or something. And it was lying upside down with the, yeah, with his legs up in the air. And that was the probably the weirdest and craziest thing I've ever seen along the road. <laughs> up there now Joey problem is this guy over here this guy right here this guy right here is blocking the fuel island you know taking his sweet time no big deal you know nobody behind him waiting yeah I hear you man I hear you it happens all the time I mean look at them all yeah what are you gonna do what you can do just be patient be patient be patient yeah no it's it's you stay in the truck you wait your turn, you pull up, you get your fuel, you pull forward, and then you go inside to get what you need to get. Like coffee. I need my coffee. But if I get out of the truck now, and then go inside, and then I'm going to be blocking the guy behind That's just a big mess, man. Joey, it's, it's the story of our life, okay? Get used to it. Enough. I tell you right now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey gang, Brian Martin up here at Four State Trucks, home of the Chrome Shop Mafia in Joplin, Missouri. You know, recently somebody asked me, what are you most proud about in your career? And I don't know if this is it, but it's certainly at the top of the list. I'd have to go back to 2006, 2007, when we got involved with Trick My Truck on country music television. And we ended up filming the show and being a part of every episode. And it was a big hit on CMT and people from coast to coast ended up watching it. Not just exclusively truckers, but men, women, boys and girls, people from all walks of life. Well, what I'm proud of is that Trick My Truck actually sparked, I think, a big new reawareness to truckers, trucks, trucking, what these guys do day in and day out. Because when you think about it, clear back to BJ and the Bear. I mean, that goes back several decades. Leading up to Trick My Truck, there was really nothing on mainstream TV featuring trucks. So when Trick My Truck came out, people were just drawn to it. I mean, they liked it. It had a great storyline. It had some cool trucks, which is always a big plus. And it kind of brought truckers uh, back on mainstream so that it sparked shows like Ice Road Truckers, American Trucker, Wrecked, and the list goes on and on of the last 10 years. So I'm proud that our efforts and maybe some of our participation in Trick My Truck got all of America watching TV at primetime, checking out what we do as trucks, truckers, in this great industry of trucking.